Emotional testimony at Manhattan's state Supreme Court as Eitan Pates' mother describes the day her son disappeared more than 35 years ago. She took the stand in the murder trial of the man prosecutors say killed the six-year-old boy. CBS 2's Jessica Schneider was in the courtroom. Julie, how are you feeling after this testimony? Julie Pates saved her emotion and her words for the courtroom, tearfully telling the jury the last time she saw her son was around 8 a.m. on May 25th. 1979 as he walked to his Soho bus stop. She said with sadness, I watched him walk one block away. I turned around and went back upstairs and that was the last time I've ever seen him. Today, jurors saw Aton's smiling young face for the first time. Prosecutors showed them the little boy who loved having his picture taken by his photographer dad. Stanley Pates was in court to hear the heart-wrenching testimony of his wife. She recounted the circus-like scene the night Aton disappeared talking about the detectives who flooded their Soho loft, but lamenting, I don't remember a thing about that night, quite honestly, and then spoke about her upset stomach and how in the months after, she, quote, tried very hard to try to remember to smile and laugh. Julie Pates talked about the, quote, crazies who would show up at their Soho home in the years after, claiming to be Aton or know something about his disappearance. She and her husband never changed their phone number or moved from their home, hopeful one one day, Aton would come back. The man on trial charged with Aton's murder, Pedro Hernandez, sat staring straight ahead the whole time. His defense attorney adamant his client will be cleared. Let's just put it this way. No one in the bodega and no one on the, at the bus stop saw him that morning including his best friend. Aton Pates' body has never been found. Julie Pates became an advocate for missing persons after Aton's disappearance. In Lower Manhattan, Jessica Schneider, CBS 2 News. Julie Pates will not be in the courtroom to listen to any other testimony. Prosecutors say the pain is too much for her to bear.